Hey, welcome back everybody to Hagen Hill Design. I'm Jake Hill and this is, I don't ever remember her name. I think it's Katie. Katie, right? Funny you can remember your own name. That's true. Some days it's hard. This video is going to move fast. We just wanted to do a quick update video for y'all. I said y'all. Been hanging out too much with these southern folks lately on live stream, so I guess it's rubbing off on me. We have a lot to do today. In this video, though, it's just going to be a quick update of uh, what's going on in this fish room of ours. It is extremely dirty. I mean, not really dirty, just cluttered. We have a lot of stuff. And uh, we have to get organized. It's winter time. It's going to be the perfect time for that. I'm not going to bore you with us moving stuff around, but I just kind of wanted to show you some plans. Uh, let you know how the fish tanks are going. The last video I tried to make didn't turn out so well. wasn't able to edit it. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully we'll have better luck with this one. And if you're watching it, it means you did. It means I did. It means we both did. We all win. Here is the Tetra Castle tank. It's doing really well. You that don't know, we have uh, three different species of tetra. We have neon tetras, we have black phantom tetras, and uh, a couple of the white fin ornata or ornate tetras. We also have a couple, a pair, male and female of sword tail, as well as a, what we call a Chinese algae eater. I'm not sure if they're different from Siamese algae eaters. Katie said that there was, right? Siamese Quite are smaller, but he keeps things clean in there. We oh. have a couple life plants and special holders there. Other than that, it's bare bottom and fake. You forgot the loaches. Oh, that's right. There is two coolie loaches in there, but you're not going to see them right now. They're hiding. They only come out when it's time to eat for some reason. Yeah, there's six neons, six black phantoms, two or not, because they only had two at the time. I'd like to get more. I'd like to keep at least six of each species of tetra just because they... They like it better that way. Filtering the whole thing, we have the Fluval 50. It used to be called the Aqua Clear 50. The only difference is, is it says Fluval on top now. But that tank's doing really well. Underneath, we just have a, a couple hospital slash quarantine tanks. Uh, nothing in them at present, but that's going to change soon. Over here, we have our 10-gallon shrimp tank. There's also a bunch. Ooh, that's a bad angle. It's a shrimp tank and snails. Lots of snails in there. We also use it to hold some plants, uh, trimmings that we take off of our 75. This tank here is an older tank, very cool tank that we got from a friend. I updated the light hood, of course. A lot of you have seen the short that I did on that. Put an LED light bulb in there because originally it was equipped with a fluorescent light. It just wasn't bright enough for my liking. In here we have a Pleco and a Sylvani Cichlid, which where is she? she in this small tank, she sure likes to hide. Every time I got the camera out, I can never find her. That's the characteristics. Where did she go? Oh, she's back there. She tucks herself in. Horrible camera work. She is right back there. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, that right in there. Very well hidden. Hard to see. But she's in there. She's a small one. She likes to dig, as most of them do, I guess. Makes little mounds. That's what we got in there. Of course, our pond that houses 42 goldfish. We keep them in here in the winter time. Otherwise, they go outside in the summertime in the big 700. Also in there, which you're not going to be able to see, is a 12-inch pleco, one we got from a rescue. Filtering the pond is a DIY trickle tower that I made out of an office organizer. It's doing quite well. We have a new filter coming in the mail from Timu, something that I saw on Joey Mullins' channel, only it's a smaller version because they were all sold out. So we got a smaller one coming. If you check out his channel on the newest uh, saltwater tank that he set up, he shows that, that filter, and um, so I got a smaller version of it. And it's probably going to go on this pond here, uh, being a little more efficient, a little more easier to maintain than this creation here. Of course, we got our 40-gallon breeder tank that we've had, probably the longest out of all the aquariums, and housing our favorite goldfish that we handpicked, and uh, a couple that we actually bought from the store, including this oranda here, and the, what do you call that, ranchu? Choo Choo the Ranchu. Choo Choo the Ranchu. He's so cute. All these other fish were common goldfish, feeder goldfish, some people call them. We bought them from the store and originally had them in the pond uh, the first year. This one 
and this one we took out and I've kept them in aquariums ever since that's been about three years this golden one here and this little torpedo shaped little buddy we just pulled out this uh, the beginning of winter time maybe late fall kind of noticed their body shapes so the, the tail was extra big on this one and I just never seen a body shape like that in a goldfish before and uh, thought they were cool so we handpicked them out and put them in with these guys um, just yesterday we did a water change on this we always unplug the filter before uh, doing it because the water level gets down so far those who have seen our videos before know that we usually use a, a title 75 by Seachem I really like that filter but this time when I went to plug it back in it didn't turn back on it didn't pump water had it happened one other time in the past and ended up needing a deep cleaning so I was frustrated took it out we had an extra aqua clear 50 this one's actually the original aqua clear so it actually says that on top under here is just an empty 29 gallon tank we're gonna have some new ideas to do with this it's gonna be a somewhat of a sump system but also with plants because uh, we can't put a whole lot of plants in with them they just end up tearing them up eating them and of course over here what do we have katie the 75 gallon planted tank yeah it's a community tank this is your special baby here this is all your idea um we put a like a light filtration device on here it's not finished yet it still needs to be we're going to make it black so that it matches with the rest of the aquarium but both sides are reflective it's basically a sun visor blocker for the sun in your car we cut it in half and then we glued magnets to the cover itself and the aquarium magnets that are hot glued on there hot glued onto the tank and on here and they just snaps on there that way we can remove it to do maintenance of course it helps reflect the light back onto these plants that katie set up now the light on here is just a regular led shop light nothing special and it does the trick for everything that we need for the plants and the fish it's a great spectrum i think it was like 20 bucks basically all the lights that we run here are shop lights we don't have anything special except for grow lights for the plants but Oh, up here yeah so you can get away with cheaper lights I mean it's working we got it set up the plants are thriving in there they have plenty of light so far I've never seen the need to spend lots of money on specially designed aquarium lights maybe someday I'll see a reason to do so but as to right now it does the trick save your money for fish and plants in this aquarium we have angelfish we have gouramis we have german blue ram we have corydoras we have a pleco we have two pictus polka dot catfish we have two glass fish glass uh, catfish right mm -hmm. we have four coolie loaches yep four coolie loaches we have another chinese algae eater it can be a bit of a bully sometimes it seems like especially towards uh the male gold garami here for some reason this little guy likes to chase him around when he gets too close what's kind of neat lately is this guy here that angelfish is just recently within a week or two developed some orange coloring on the top it was not like that when we picked them up the fancy guppies and the zebra oh, tails yeah. that's true we got four fancy tail guppies they're all male uh, by design for now because we just didn't want this thing overran but eventually we're going to get into some guppy breeding three zebra danios those guys are just crazy always swimming around powder blue dwarf gourami the filtration for this tank is an older model Fluval 304 canister filter. It works great. The only thing I have a problem with is priming the sucker. When I got to do um, maintenance on it, to get this going again, it always ends up getting some kind of an airlock in it. One thing I'm surprised about with this tank, and maybe I shouldn't be, is that the amount of fish in here, I see them poop, but I never ever see any of it anywhere in the tank it's never floating never hanging on any of the plants never built up along the bottom it just uh, somehow magically disappears that must be the beauty of a deep substrate planted tank is that it the plants take care of it well it's recommended that if you're going to do a planted tank and you want a bunch of fish in the tank to at least have 75 percent plant coverage in your tank helps take care of the detritus waste and makes beautiful plants well, this fish room like i said is getting very cluttered we have lots of stuff here i mean we hang out here we have our music and tv and dartboard and supplies for different shop type things it's still a shop it's a 
partitioned room off of our garage. Through that door is the rest of our garage, which I'm not going to show you right now because it is even worse than this room. <laughs> we're going to work on that, get this place organized, because today we're picking up something. Something that Katie and I have both wanted really bad, and what is it? It's a 210-gallon acrylic tank. 210-gallon aquarium! But wait! There's more. More? Lots more. Not only is it the tank, it's the lid, the lighting, the heaters, along with two FX6 canister filters, all of the, the decor, 3D background, substrate, which I'm just going to get rid of, the and stand? the stand. And lights? Yeah, everything you need. So by the time we would have bought everything brand new, it would probably have been close to $4,000. Most of you guys that keep fish know how expensive big tanks are. For us, where we live, they're not easy to come by. Fortunately, Katie likes to be on Facebook a lot. Something <laughs> that I usually tease her for, but I gotta hand it to her. She found private sellers selling this thing, and we are getting it for how much? Let's just say it's gonna be under $1,500 well under 1500 so we're going to be picking that up tonight i'm going to shoot some videos about it we're going to have to make a new spot for that freezer out in the garage because that tank is going to go right in this area that means moving this moving the shrimp tank six feet long is almost as big as the between that stand and the edge of the pond here we're just extremely excited to show you all of this we're going to take you along on this adventure oh so excited I'm out of breath. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to us if you haven't already so you don't miss anything. Please like this video, give it some comments, share it with your fish friends. Also, we're gonna be doing a lot more live streaming. Hope you guys join in, chat with us, talk with us, show us what you got. Let's uh, join together as fish keepers and learn from each other and get to know each other. It's a great thing, I love it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.